What's up dear gear nerds? I hope you had a great week and that you have been outdoors. I have been exploring Helsinki and more on that is coming later on. But right now I want to talk about you about this backpack which fits into the palm of my hand. It's the Sea to Summit Ultra Sill Nano Day Pack. This is a 30 gram heavy 20 liter volume backpack that fits into this included little bag over here. Isn't it cute? Let's take a look, see what it can, how comfortable it is and if it's worth your money. So I got this backpack for free from Sea to Summit at the outdoor in Friedrichshafen. It was a present. Everyone that was on the press walk got one. But of course, with these kind of things, you're not under any obligation to do anything about it. However, the old uh, Sea to Summit day pack that also fits into a little bag, it's 104 gram. So this one is 74 grams lighter at 30 grams, including this pack sack. And as an ultralight nerd, uh, with a backpack fetish. Um, yeah, I have to check this out and show you how I like it. And yeah, if it's really worth, if it's worth the money. So I do think this is a really great backpack for people that are traveling. So if you have a little bit bigger backpack, maybe even luggage that you check in for a trip, but you still want to have a backpack for day trips. If you go hiking, for example, which is very often the case, even on a business trip, um, then this small package is really an excellent solution to take it along. At the same time, this also would make a great shopping backpack. If you are in the city after work and you still need to do some grocery shopping and you don't want to buy a plastic bag because yeah, well, let's really break free from plastic. This even fits into your pocket. So if you just go with the jacket on your shoulders to work, you still can carry this along and then go grocery shopping afterwards. Um, that are, I think, the main two uses. I know a lot of friends in Germany are using this actually as a challenge to go out uh, with just this backpack and fit uh, micro adventure gear in there. So if you're into micro adventures uh, and you want to challenge yourself, then the C2 Summit Ultra Sill Nano Day Pack Challenge, where you just take all the kit that fits into this backpack along for an overnighter, is something that you definitely want to try out. Now, let's have a look how this unpacks. So, this is really a super tiny package. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's smaller than a mandarin or an orange or yeah, even a, even a lime. And it has this little draw cord over here with which you can open it up so that it stays inside. So you never lose this. And then you just pull it out. This is with a bar tag soon on, so you can't lose it. That's super great because such a small bag is easy to lose. Now you see it's packed inside out, so. There you have it. There's also a tiny, tiny zipper on it. This actually does look like it is fairly waterproof because the zipper closes the fabric over here and it even looks like um, that there's a little bit of overlap of this. So the zipper is asymmetric. It goes down only on one side and on the top you've got your little package over here in the inside. You could put something small even in there and then you have the pack like this from the front and on the back and even have a little loop over here so you can hang it up if you want to. The shoulder straps are super bare minimum. I think for the 20 liter challenge this will be fine but um, for longer distances you might not find these very comfortable. They're pretty long so they should also fit very tall people. Um, this is one size fits all, so um, over here it looks like they have reinforced these that you can carry heavier loads. 
at the event at C2 Summit uh, at the outdoor, they did say that they went grocery shopping with this and that they carried up to 18 kilograms in this, which is pretty heavy. I don't know what they put actually in there, but um, yeah. So yeah, I'm off to the city to meet a friend and I'm taking the kids with me. And so there's going to two little uh, hoodies in there. I myself take a wind jacket, um, water bottles because it is pretty warm outside. And I want to buy any water and I meet somebody to give some photos to so a hard drive I'm gonna wrap that in my jacket so it's a little bit more protected even if this is a rugged hard drive it should be fine so that's how it looks packed now it looks a little bit fuller than what it did earlier. Gives you a little bit a better idea how it looks. So here you see there's the zipper that goes like this over the top and side. Actually it should be able to go a bit further down, so like this. And yeah, let's see how this now looks on my back and then let's go to the city. Okay, that's how it looks with uh, the gear I just packed in, as you saw. Time to grab the camera and head to the city. So one of the problems that already is quite obvious is that these are like getting really thin and cut in here and I don't have a lot in the back, but for a short day, I think it's fine. All right. I was now carrying around this pack for five hours and while I wouldn't say it's comfortable, uh, it was okay. Especially if you keep in mind that this is a 30 gram backpack that fits in the palm of your hand and will always be along no matter what kind of uh, backpack or jacket or whatever you're carrying. Um, these shoulder straps do get quite tight and tend to cut in but then as I said earlier just put your thumbs behind them pull the back up and then it's I think, completely fine and not a problem 20 liters plenty of space I had these two hoodies of the kids the two water bottles of the kids my water bottle um, the hard drive and the camera I am just filming with so a gorilla pod and the Sony a6500 and the uh, Rode VideoMic Pro Plus all fitted in here and yeah no problem was totally fine to carry and yeah just keeping in mind this is a 30 gram backpack it was pretty pretty good so can't comment on the waterproofness because obviously it's super great weather way too hot and that's my initial thoughts of the C2 Summit NanoSil Ultra Day Pack so if you enjoyed this review give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because there's more videos coming thanks for watching see you at the next time